about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello welcome to part two of the romance takeover vlog i've got wild hair it is 12 30 at night <laughs> just i literally just uploaded the video for tomorrow which is part one of this vlog and then i think part two will come maybe on sunday next week or tuesday we'll see <laughs> um i'm really excited I am about to go get on my jammies and I'm gonna lay down and read B Loves fans only because I need to finish this book, y'all. I need to finish this book. All right, let's get to it. I'm walking around feeling free. Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now Don't know where Don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide but falling in love Good morning, really afternoon. Um, just went and got my mail. I thought I'd show y'all what came. I'm so excited about, hold on. Um, so I've got Desiree on in the background, but um, my signed copy of the Duke who didn't came. And I haven't even read it yet, but I just knew I wanted to take the opportunity to buy a signed Courtney Milan book because who knows if I'll ever see her at an event. And I also got a surprise package from Brie so thank you, Brie. I'm about to open that. Um, I spent my morning cooking and baking and prepping to mail out my Secret Santa goodies, which you'll have seen a little bit of in the B-roll. So we'll be packing up gifts today, and I can't wait. Okay, um, y'all, <laughs> I love these, Brie. Oh my good. I hope you're selling these on your shop, because if you are, I've got to order like three more packs. Oh, I have so many things I want to put these on. I'm so excited. He wants you to know. He is ignored. He is neglected. I went upstairs for a shower and he had to let me know that he was still here. Are you done? Hello. Um, so I just basically didn't update you the last two days. So it's Monday night now and I have been enjoying the house in the Cerulean Sea. I've barely started it. I will be done with it tomorrow. I am about to lay down for bed. And I'm going to finish, hopefully, Fans Only by Be Love. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. I've just, um, I don't know. It's been a weird, weird day. I felt off all day, let me put it that way. Not in like a bad way, just in a like, I don't know, Mondays, you know, like in that way. got the um, Nerdy Ink front of glass covers from Black Friday and I got a new pin which is the sonic screwdrivers from Doctor Who because I just I had to I got a free pin with the order so I thought let's do those hold on so I got packages today as you saw I got new pajamas and I just tried them on and I'm like in love these are so freaking comfy they're from Target they're the the juniors I was able to I, I'd fit into an XL, surprisingly. Um, I'm a baggy pajama person, so I usually get two X's. The crop top is a little tight, but it hits, hmm, like right above my belly button, and the pants sit like right at my belly button, so it works. It's like that much skin showing. Um, it's a little too cold for them today, but they're so cute. I love them. I love the stars. Um, I'm about to 
take them off and put them in the hamper to wash, but I'm excited. I love PJs. Uh, I like being comfy. <laughs> If I could live in pajamas and it'd be socially acceptable, I would. Um, that's why I live in leggings and sweatshirts, like, almost all year. And, like, oversized t-shirts a lot lately. But, um, yeah, I am four chapters into the house on the Cerulean Sea. He just got to the house. And I'm really, really liking it. I really love TJ Klune's writing style. I think it's just really, really engaging and enjoyable. Um, I'm about to go reply to comments on video the video from today before I forget, uh, because I try to do it like twice a day, two to three times a day on an upload day. Um, I try not to do it on my phone because I like to like sit down and like give y'all, like give people good replies. Anyways, uh, yeah, really liking House in Cerulean Sea. I'm gonna listen to some more of that, reply to comments, and then I think I'm gonna sit down and try to read some more of one of my physical books because we have three books left to finish to make sure I successfully complete the readathon. Ended, but we did not we started something this thing that we got grew stronger each day we're together on the way oh we're falling in love to me it's perfectly clear we're falling in love it's true this part of the year we had something in store for I filmed a video earlier I've still got to edit that video and I am currently laying on the couch because I'm having sinus pain which is very annoying I also have a sleepy boy and I was joking about how you know I'm not straight because I literally don't sit like what is sitting without your legs like pretzeled around you in some capacity please let me know <laughs> uh, anyway uh, that's a weird tangent. I'm halfway through the house in Cerulean Sea and I love it. I love it so much. Um, I'm hoping to finish it up today. I've got, so Audible started showing me my, um, how long I've left in a book when I have it sped up, which is really nice. I don't have to do the math anymore. I've got two hours. Let's see if it'll focus. Probably not. Two hours and it's going to be backwards, isn't it? I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, two hours and 26 minutes left and I'm just really enjoying the book. I'm about to start like chapter 10 which is an hour long on regular speed so I'm gonna wait to start it until after I've edited my video as a treat to myself. But I really like this book. It's so cute. Um, I'm already in love with all the kids. Uh, there's 19 chapters I think so yeah I'm a little I'm close to halfway. Um, I have continued reading The Redemption by Nikki Sloan at night a little bit here and there and I'm really really liking it I really need to just sit down and read tomorrow probably and then I've got to read I've got to finish fans only by B love I'm still about 30% in um I'm just gonna read it in the mornings only before noon because I feel like that counts as after midnight and then I'm going to um and then I'm gonna read I'm gonna start listening to Dreaming of You by Lisa Kleypas, I think, for my reread, a fave. Because um, I just, I don't know, I feel like that's what I want to reread right now. Um, and we will have an announcement about something to do with IAD next year. Coming your way very soon. So I'm excited for that too. But I will update you later. I know I have been a bad vlogger this week. <sighs> but I'm just, I don't know. I'm having a weird week, y'all. That's, that's all I can tell you. Next week will be better. All right, bye. Come on. Just wanted to show the New York Street Steak Bowl that I made tonight. It looks so good. I was just like, oh my God, my food looks aesthetic for once. I'm so excited to dive into this. Steak. Christmas time's got the best of me Then it starts to snow in our hearts We both know that we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear We're falling in love Still in 
in the same sweatshirt. <laughs> it's comfy. All right, it's like super beat up and gross, but it's like super comfy and I'm never, it's like all pilly, but I, okay, I'm not leaving my house. Who cares? Anyways, I'm just gonna put it on the internet and let y'all know I'm gross. Not really. Anyways, I promise I'm clean. Um, I wanted to tell you <laughs> after my random rant that I finished the house in the Cerulean Sea and I wanted to cry. That book was everything I wanted. It lived up to every bit of hype it got. It was such a cute slow build romance. It definitely has a happy ending. The kids were spectacular. Spectacular. Um, and I just was so happy y'all so 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 happy um I loved it immensely and I really just can't say enough good things about it um I need to pick up another audiobook to finish so I can finish the last three books on my TBR which is a reread after midnight and um bad boy I need to finish redemption there's no audiobook for redemption but my reread i think i'm gonna listen to Derek craven aka dreaming of you by lisa claypiss because i do own that audiobook and then it's an easy like next up on my list um yeah that's where we're at there's my room bud my bathroom one of my bathrooms i'm going to go do some stuff upstairs right now because angus is actually like chilling downstairs I put on y'all so I've talked about the song but like Angus is 10 and he's losing it he's perfectly healthy for the most part there's no reason to like do anything about it but he's definitely like going into old dog mode which is like him barking on the couch if I am not with him so I end up spending a lot of time downstairs which means like I can't film because my bookshelves are upstairs and my awesome partner was like do you want me to move them downstairs and I was like no like I don't want my bookshelves downstairs so we debated that and I was like okay um you know I just I'm getting through it it's okay like it'll be fine um I just really 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 <laughs> hate myself for it in some ways I guess um yeah it's fine it's really really not a big deal overall it will it will it'll be okay um I'm just so frustrated that I spend like half of my day fighting with him to like just chill um and I can't do anything about it like he's old and I love him to death so it's okay like I'm going to enjoy his like last few years here like where he is like this um as much as I can yeah, so that's why a lot of times I'm on my couch updating you because I literally am just downstairs constantly. <sighs> but I am going to start a new project tonight, which is my putting the new covers I got for Throne of Glass on my books because I bought the Nerdy Ink set because they're freaking gorgeous and I love them. So I grabbed two of my hardcovers. I'm going to take them downstairs and I'm going to work on that today. So I'll show you that and yeah, we'll listen to another book. I think, I think we're going to go dreaming of you. I want something I can get through um, in a day, basically. That's the plan. Um, just get through as much as I can. Woo! Sorry. So it's a four-hour audiobook. If I start it now, I can at least get through an hour or two maybe today and then finish it up tomorrow. And then I just had to finish those two books I'm reading physically. We're going to do this. We are going to finish the TBR for this vlog slash readathon. We're going to do it. Okay, so it's Friday. It's the last day of the readathon. I'm doing terrible. I have three books ideally I want to finish, but I don't know if I'm going to manage it. It's 11.25 and I don't realize... I'm so scattered today. I'm sorry. Anyways, I realized I got a package yesterday and I don't know if I told you all what I got. Anyways, my friend Laura from Laura's Library Card and the group of hosts from the um, Love in the Night readathon did a little Christmas swap and I, Laura got me and I was like, oh my god, because this came today. I'm so excited. Uh, it's actually, you can no longer buy it on ebook. It went out of print. So they had like a couple of copies left still as physical. So I just put it on my wish list and was going to buy it like literally after I paid bills this month. And it just showed up yesterday and I'm so excited. She also got me two mangas, which are uh, Wokato 
uh, Love is Hard for Otaku, Volume 1 and 2, and I'm just like, I love my friends, y'all. Like, I love all the friends I have made through BookTube. They're amazing. Um, I, I feel like I have found my, like, what everyone claims BookTube to be, like, this very supportive space, and I feel like that's what I've found in the friends I've made, but obviously, like, that's not everyone. Um, but yeah, I just, look at this thick boy. I'm so excited to dive in. Um, I'm just really, really excited about these. It's a lot of authors I really like, so that will be very fun. But anyways, beyond the point, uh, the new Taylor Swift album dropped. I'm kind of indifferent. But I figure I'll listen through because I just like to know what everybody's talking about. And yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to pack up Secret Santa stuff so I can't show you that. And yeah, I'm going to try and finish The Redemption and uh, fans only because I keep falling asleep while I'm reading it because it's late at night. <laughs> That's what I do. Told you all, I'm like a little old lady. But yeah, so I did that. I went to the store and all that. And then... You know, I've got the live tonight at 6 my time to wrap up the readathon. So I just would like to finish one of those two books before the live, and then I'll finish the last one tonight. And then I'll have only not completed one prompt, which is rereading a favorite, and I can live with that, I think. I'm pretty sure I can live with that. So that's where we're at. I'm also trying to find, so my bestie and I are doing an ugly ornament exchange, which is like my new favorite gift thing ever. And if she's watching this, um, I can't find your ornament. I bought it. At one point, Peas stole the ornament, um, and I don't know where she put it. So now I think it's gone, and I think it became a cat toy. So now I gotta go find another ugly ornament, so that's fun. Well, I found one of the things I couldn't find just now because it's up high and I can't see. And now I'm wondering, I'm using my camera. <laughs> Shorty problems, y'all, but I found it. I've been searching all over my house for this. Hello. So I just finished Fans Only by Be Love, and it was really good, y'all. That is, the book takes until about 30% to get super steamy, but once it does, it's pretty steamy. Although, I will say that one thing happened that is a dead pull me out of a sex scene. <laughs> that event happens to be um, when a man licks a woman's butt, and then her B, um, and it drives me bonkers because that's super, super not recommended, y'all. Don't, you can't go from the behind to the front. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, don't do that, please. Please don't do that. So I got ripped out of one of the hottest scenes in the book because that happened. <laughs> Is it just me? Am I the only one who gets, thrown out of a book and is like, no, that's an infection. Um, Cause that's, that's what I did. That's what my brain did. So yeah, I really liked it. Solid four star read. It would maybe four and a half. Uh, I'd probably rate it higher. Probably would have been a five star if I hadn't have been ripped out of that scene. But it is a steamy book and it is very good. I cannot wait to read more by Be Love. I definitely need to explore more of her back catalog in 2021. So. I'm gonna work on reading The Redemption some more. It's still only like 3.30, the live's at six. I might manage to finish this book before the live or be really, really close to done. So that's our goal. I'll talk to you in a bit. So I just got some packages. One, I got my signed copy of A Prince on Paper. My friend E went to the signing last year when this book came out and got me a copy because she's magic. And it's taken us forever to get it mailed to me, which is totally okay. I'm just so happy to have it. I can't believe I have a signed copy of an Alyssa Cole book, to be honest with you. That's that's really what it comes down to. I also just got my Luma Crate, Lainey Taylor's Daughter of Smoke and Bone box. So I thought we'd go through it together. Uh, first, there's this with a photo challenge. I'm just going to open it and set it aside so if I don't know what something is, I can tell you. Uh, we got a book sleeve that says something was starting to take shape out of magic and will smoke and bone it's beautiful and my battery's dying so um give me a second okay so the book sleeve is like a pleather material but I really like it Look at that. oh it's beautiful so smoke and bone is one of my favorite like fantasy romances um I love Karu 
I love her friends. I love the family we build, the story that's made. Um, so yeah, I had to get the 10 year anniversary of Daughter of Snuck and Bone. I'm also going to be ordering um, the other two books in this series. It's, wow. Let's see what else I got. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is huge. Okay, so I truly love Illumicrate. Um, if I was going to subscribe to a book box, this is the book box I would subscribe to. Um, I think that they particularly do the best. Um, okay, I can't wait to show you all this. Okay, here's the front of the book tin. Um, there's Karu and what is her name? And then there's like the reference to the story that's unfolding kind of. And then I, oh my God, this is beautiful. What the F? Like that's so pretty y'all. I got the art print. Here's the art print it came with. Stunning, obviously, I mean, holy crap. So I actually plan to do a reread of this series in the new year. Because once again, I love it so much and I haven't actually reread it in a while. And I just think that Lainey Taylor, this was maybe my like first love of fantasy romance, to be honest with you. Okay, so I'm opening up the bookends now. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous I'm not gonna like them. I'm always nervous. But I, again, I feel continually like a Lumicrate Obviously it's expensive in the States, but um, I do think they knock it out of the park the most routinely. Uh, this says, you're not gonna be able to see it at all. It says, once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love. Let's see. And it's got like Carew's tattoos on it. And then it says, it did not end well. Hopefully you can read that. Wow. Okay, these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to find a spot on my shelves to have these. Okay, we've got more stuff, hold on. So it says it snaps, split the world in two. Got a tiny box. Can I just say also, this literally shipped like yesterday, like two days ago, and it's already here. Wild. This is the soul, thurible, thurible, whatever. This is what keeps the soul safe before they can resurrect it. This one has Karu's name on it. Oh my gosh, how stunning. And the mug. Of course there's a mug. There's always a mug. Wow. Okay. Here is the mug. I think this is, um, this is somebody really well known. Oh yeah, the pen's the wishbone. Duh, Isabel. This is the rosy thorn mug. It's beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Probably not drinking, but I love it. Um, yeah, that was my Illumicrate box. Wow. Okay. I'm just stunned at how beautiful this is. Like all of this, all around, utterly gorgeous. I've got got to order <laughs> the other two books so I can have that matching set because I really love this new cover style way more than any other cover I've seen for these books. All right, that's the unboxing. We're gonna go read some more books. Hey y'all, I wanted to come wrap this up real quick. It's Saturday night. Um, I realized I did not do a great job finishing this readathon slash with this last half. Um, today was not a good day. <laughs> we had a big medical scare in my family. Um, I'm not going to go into details because I'm not going to put their business on the internet. I'm just going to say we had a medical scare. Um, seems like everything's okay-ish, as okay as it can be. Um, so. I thought I was gonna finish the remission today, but I did not because I couldn't just not get out of my own brain. Um, just totally normal and you know, it's, it's gonna be okay. Uh, I will be finishing the redemption this coming week at least. So that'll be fun, which means I'll talk about it in my mid month wrap up on Tuesday. So don't worry, I really, really like it. I just cannot focus on a physical book today in any capacity, which sucks. Um, yeah, so I read that, or I almost finished that. So I almost finished three books this week, which is not terrible for me, but not great. Like I'm usually a much faster reader, but I think I'm feeling the end of the year slowdown happening. Like I feel like towards the end of the year, I stopped reading as much to an extent because then I'm like, oh, it's almost the new year. And then in January, I'm like off to the races because I, do I have no control of myself sometimes but so yeah that's what happened um here is my filled out bingo board I'm pretty proud of myself though honestly because I got a couple bingos I only missed two squares 
and I can't complain about that honestly at the end of the day um I really can't complain that I only missed two squares uh I'm pretty proud of that fact and yeah I had such a fun readathon I hope y'all did too I'm going through right now and working through everybody's vlogs and different content around it and trying to watch stuff uh so hopefully I'll see you'll see me in your comment section soon I'm just so very, very, very excited about it. And I can't wait to see what everybody else read and how y'all did. Um, from Instagram, it looks like a lot of y'all killed it on this readathon, so I'm really proud of you. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll have links to all the books I talked about in this vlog in the description box for you, along with links to anybody I mentioned, and also links to all of my social media. So you can find me on Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter. You can also find the link to the Romance YouTuber Discord if you want to come hang out with us and be in the know the next time one of these readathons happened, especially if you're a romance tuber and you want to join us because I think this is going to be a biannual thing. That's my alarm. I think this is going to end up being a biannual thing, so you definitely should be in there so you will know pretty much when it's happening, probably like the minute the videos go up. So, all right, I'll catch you all next time. Bye. Really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know